Hi, this is Heather with Cuz We Can Farms, and in today's video, we use an unconventional method to try to square up our piers for our shipping container tiny home. And we dig our holes. Finally. Good morning, guys. So, we're exhausted. <laughs> like puffy face. <laughs> Fun fact. I'm actually allergic to dust, which makes this dust season unbearable, almost unbearable, uh, for me. <laughs> um, so, good news, Gracie's doing really well. Good morning, Gracie. How you feeling, honey? Oh, how you feeling? Yeah. Good morning. Just got the snacks. Gracie wants nothing to do with grain. I don't blame her. She's still got geeky eye. It's switched eyes though. Are you humming at me? You're just thirsty, huh? Pretty girl. Pretty girl. Tick, 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 tick. Here's where our trouble lies. This dang stump. I have a feeling it's gonna be a thorn in my side all the time.
right on the mark, that stick can be broken off. So this whole stick is removed. I'm taking a stick out. Still off. Off by two inches. So it should be. Try this one again. That one needs to come in a tiny bit. Okay, there. You know what else? I bet this isn't 40 feet. I needed to measure this first because each one of these little connect. Oh, that stupid thing goes in. Never mind. I heard the little guy. The construction gods say that should be square. <laughs> I'm no fun to be around right now because we're now late and this isn't working out as well as I thought it was, but it is working, so I think it'll do. It gives a good vision of where this is gonna go. And we can dig the holes in the corner, putting the corner actually in the center of the hole. And then we also will have decks to build off on the front and the back, so that should work. Fingers crossed. Apparently I'm a Neanderthal because I hammered in sticks and Kira went and got flags. <laughs> She's 20th century. <laughs> Drink it all. Clean up crew.
each time you move it, just stand and line it up with that little skinny tree so that this is our line. We're going to dig probably six holes, um, taking our solar panels. Our, our wind turbine might be this hole right here because we've got all the at that end so and I look, know where the hole goes and look pretty and then you're gonna move the PVC pipe please don't focus on her you're gonna move the PVC pipe and I'm gonna pull up and we're gonna set the auger and I'm gonna dig a hole then you're gonna lay the PVC pipe back down Are you focus with that in the center of that hole hear me and then it's laying down and it's going to that tree then this is my next hole so the auger will go right here. That auger tip will go right here. So this is the hole. Make sense? Any questions? No questions, a dumb question. Come in. You're going to stand here and you're going to move the PVC pipe and then I'm going to bring it in here and we're going to drop it and I'm going to dig a hole. This doesn't have to be exact, but we do want it to kind of be a nice straight line. So what we're going to do is aim for that tree. See that tree, that little skinny tree? We're going to aim for that. Bless you. So when you're looking at your PVC pipe and you're laying it down, I want you to stand on this side where our hole is. Look at that tree and line it with that tree. That's going to be our line. Remember that two steps forward, three steps back thing I said? Just happened. I caught, pulled that apart. Uh, caught it, caught it there. And when I lifted, it popped it off of there. Squirting oil everywhere. Hydraulic fluid everywhere, even on Kira. So I guess we're done.